Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Oshina. I'm really glad that you're here. Today I'm gonna to be sharing some fun, adventurous books in this video. I just was thinking like, man, we need some fun stories in our lives. And I was just thinking about the, the books that I've read that were just like really fun to read. And there may have been some high stakes, but it was like fun to read still. So that was my criteria. Um, this is gonna be all adult books. I was thinking about doing young adult and middle grade too, but my list started getting longer and longer. So I might do a separate video for young adult and middle grade, because I also was thinking those are some good adventurous books as well. There is gonna be a mix of like Christian books and non-Christian books. So I think I might start with the non-Christian books first and then go into the Christian books. So um, the first couple books that I'll be sharing don't have a specific faith in them. Um, a little bit sometimes they do, but it's like secret, you know, and they're clean still. So, so number one is The Testament by John Grisham. This was the first John Grisham book I'd ever read and it totally blew me away. I loved it. It's kind of a legal adventure story. I wouldn't say thriller because like you kind of know what's going on most of the time. I found it funny. I found it fast paced and it just like was a kind of story that I was into. Um, you follow this old man who's super rich and he has had three wives, I'm pretty sure, and kids with those different wives and they all want some inheritance from him when he passes away. But when he does, he ends up willing everything, most everything, to this random girl that he says is his daughter who lives in the Amazon and is a missionary. So that's kind of where the faith comes in because this woman is a missionary, a Christian missionary, um, but none of the other characters really have a faith. But yeah, so there is like a lawyer guy or a private investigator, I don't know, um, who is sent to go find her and be like, hey, your dad just willed you a bunch of stuff. And it was just such a, a wild ride, that whole time, like the guy trying to find her and then seeing what the rest of the family is up to. I just found it very entertaining and really deep. And I love the ending and just, yeah. So fun adventure, would definitely recommend it. Um, it was worth every page, so. I'm gonna take this time to ask for suggestions. What other John Grisham books are like similarly good to The Testament? Because I'm kind of thinking about reading more of his books. I mean, I, I have been ever since I read this one, but I read this one in 2020, I think. Yeah, and so it's been a while and I really wanna read more of him. So please write your suggestions below. What are his best books? I don't know anything. I've seen a couple of his movies, but this is the only book by him. Plus, um, Catching Christmas? Catching Christmas? Right? No, that's Terry Black's book. <laughs> what is his book? Christmas with the Cranks. Whatever that's by. Skipping Christmas. That's what it is. <laughs> okay. Wow. Spent a lot of time on that book. It's fine. Get used to it around here. Okay. Okay, next fun adventure story is The Chemist by Stephanie Meyer. This is like one of her random adult books that she wrote that's just a standalone and it's like really fun. So you follow this kind of ex-CIA scientist woman who is on the run from the CIA now because they want to like take her out because of the information that she knows. And kind of as her last assignment, they're like, we'll leave you alone if you do this one thing. Um, and it's basically to kidnap this guy, get information out of him and then kill him. So she thinks she kidnaps the right guy, but it's not actually the right guy and then you find out stuff about that. Um, it's pretty fun, it, a little bit brutal, like she does use drugs to interrogate him, which was like kind of intense, I guess. I mean, it was. And then there's also a dog aspect that comes into it, um, in particular German Shepherds, which I know can be ruthless dogs. My, I grew up with German Shepherds, my dad loves them, so I liked that aspect of it. Not every dog was a German Shepherd, but there were some. And uh, anyways, there are dogs and there's no brutality of them that I remember, but it has been a while, um, so I don't remember. But anyways, there's an aspect. It was fun though, I really liked it. Okay, switching gears a lot, I guess, ish. Uh, Home Before Dark by Riley Sager is just, it was fun. It was fun, I, it, it had some language, so be aware of that. Um, it's one of those thrillers that I really enjoyed it though, like the whole story of it. Um, basically it follows this haunted house and 
I'm fascinated by that topic because of my faith and I just like thinking about what I would do in that situation and then so far from what I've read of Riley Sager I really like how he ends his thr thrillers like the what it turns out to be I really think is so um, well connected and like there's us like a string of of evidence of whatever that is like oh that's how that uh, oh and I just like that aspect of it um yeah you follow this girl who grew up in this well her parents move into this big house and then something weird happens and they move out and the dad writes a book about it and it becomes really famous then when he passes away he wills the house to the girl his daughter and she goes back there as an adult and is like what actually happened because there's no way it's actually haunted and so you find out all the stuff about that but it was really fun i enjoyed it um it was creepy in just the right way because i was assuming there was going to be an explanation and if there wasn't i would just be like well it's a made-up story so whatever <laughs> does that make sense but yeah um Okay, switching gears once again. Happiness for Beginners by Catherine Center uh, was the first book that I ever read by her and it just blew me away of how like deeply contemplative it was of the human heart and emotions and what really matters and I quite enjoyed it. Um, there is one like makeout scene that went farther than I'm comfortable reading but other than that, it was clean and really it was about this girl going on like a wilderness adventure. Um, and I just really enjoyed reading that because I like hiking. <laughs> I like outdoor stuff. So I just liked reading about it and seeing her uh, growth as a person. It was really satisfying. And then the stuff that they did was really fun to read. So. I would consider it a fun adventure, although it was also very deep and there was a lot of emotion to it, so I liked it. Okay, we are on to the Christian books now. Where to start? Um, classic If I Run by Terry Blackstock is so fun, super fast paced. I feel like this could be a movie, like it was really good, a TV series. It would be a really good TV series. Yeah, but uh, was super good. Lots of people have read it on booktube, so yeah, it's popular for a reason. Would highly recommend. Um, you probably know what it's about. So I'm just going to say, yes, this is a fun adventure for sure. And then the other Terry Blackstock book that I would recommend is Truth Stained Lies because this one I just thought was particularly funny because of the situation that the character was in. Because this guy is like in the process of being divorced. Is that right? And then, yeah. And he goes to like talk to his wife to like, talk about his son and like what they're gonna do with custody and stuff and before he gets there a person dressed as a clown goes to the house and kills the wife and then the husband gets there and she's dead and he's like what happened but he's blamed for it and just the whole situation of him like see he saw the clown too and he told the police but they're like excuse me no that doesn't make any sense because no one else saw a clown and just the whole clown situation i thought was very funny and i really liked the characters and it had great faith in it too so yes fun adventure okay haven't talked about this book in a while what the mountain between us by charles martin this is the movie cover as you can see maybe you've seen the movie it is different than the movie so the movie has a sex scene in it this book is clean they added it. I saw him post about it. He was like, guys, it was against my will, but it is what it is. <laughs> so anyways, his book is clean. Um, this follows two people trying to get to a certain city in a small little plane where something happens to make the pilot crash and he doesn't survive. So I don't remember what happened to the pilot to make them crash but they crash in the snowy mountains and the two of them have to survive. And it was like pretty fun to read. I like reading stories about that. For some reason, I really like snow stories <laughs> where like people are stuck in a snowy place, which would suck for me. Like I don't like being cold. I don't 
like the thought of that, but I really like watching people try to survive in the snow. So yes. Also, there's a lot of like kind of flashbacks to these characters' lives and there's like mysteries around them that you slowly discover. And I just really like this book. It was fun. So there you go. Did that make any sense? Okay. This kind of feels like a random group of books, but it works. Okay, I am gonna say that The Lady's Mind by Francine Rivers is also a fun adventure story, just because you follow this single woman who moves into this small little mining town and how she makes it work for herself. And it was fun, like, and that's why Francine Rivers wrote it. So I think if I had known going into it, I, I would have like really enjoyed it, but I was like looking for that like deep emotional story that Francine Rivers usually writes. So anyways, thinking about it now, I'm like, actually that was just like a fun story to read, super lighthearted and yeah. So I would recommend it if you're looking for something lighthearted but still well written, check out The Lady's Mind. Okay, also I haven't talked about this book in a while, so I need to. Submerged by Danny Petri. It's one of my like old flames, I would say. <laughs> I read this series for the first time in 2020. There's like, I discovered a lot of good books and a lot of new genres to me in 2020 because we had so much time. Like I, you know, I was a teacher back then. So school was shut down for months and I was at home. And so I explored my library a lot. And this was one of the series that I discovered. Submerged just like was so fun to read for me. Um, it's I think it's one of the first romantic suspenses that I ever read. So anyways, this story follows uh, a plane, well, okay. It opens with a plane that crashes and then the rescue team that goes and rescues the passengers because um, it crashes in the water. And the, the rescue team is the family that you're following. Um, it's set in Alaska and you follow the daughter or no the niece of one of the passengers that passes away she has to go back and like deal with things and then she meets one of the rescuers and there is a huge mystery over why the plane actually crashed it wasn't an accident so they're trying to figure out what happened and it was just so well written i loved the plot i loved the mystery the romance the characters it was funny loved the faith it's just all around a really great series and I found it super fun, super fast paced, read all six books within two months of each other and so yeah, it was great. Anyway, I think that's gonna be it. I have a lot more books on my list but it's already like a random list. So I hope you enjoyed watching. I would love to hear some suggestions. Again, I asked about John Grisham. Really any fun adventure books that you can think of. Um, as you can see, I don't think I talked about any fantasy books because I'm not into fantasy, but I'm into contemporary and thriller depending on what's going on, you know, and romantic suspense, you know. So I may do a follow up video for this um, for young adult and middle grade because there are some great books in those uh, age categories as well. So. Thank you for watching. Have a great day, you guys. I'll see you next time. Bye. But I really like people trying, I really like watching the guy. Yeah. What actually happens? I think the pilot has a heart attack, but now I'm thinking that happens in Hatchet as well. So which one is it? Don't be alarmed, I just kind of lost myself there for a second. Moving on.